what is going on guys in this tutorial we'll be looking at how to set up a virtual machine running linux in windows 10 you'll be surprised by how easy it is even for a complete beginner let's get right into it first off you will need to make sure you have enough ram you can dedicate to your virtual machine though you could run a virtual machine on 8 gigs of ram it isn't recommended as both your os and virtual machine will be incredibly slow in this tutorial we'll be using virtualbox there are a number of other popular options out there but i believe this is the easiest one for beginners you also need to download a copy of the Linux distribution you want to run. We will be installing Ubuntu since it's the most well known one. However, you can still follow along if you want to install another distro. Alright, now you have everything you need, let's install VirtualBox. Follow the on screen instructions and read the warning that your network interface is being reset. Don't be worried as this is just to set up a VirtualBox network adapter. If you've already done this, then the next step is to install Ubuntu. In the VirtualBox window, click New. A Create Virtual Machine prompt should now appear. Let's fill this out with a name and save location. If you name it to the same as the OS you're installing, the type and version should automatically change. Otherwise, change the type to Linux and version to Ubuntu 32 or 64-bit, depending on your computer, and click Next. Now we will need to decide how much memory to allocate to the VM. Though the recommended amount is set to 1 gig, I'll recommend around 4 gigs at least. However, don't make this too high as your main OS will slow down as well. Now we need to create a virtual hard disk. This is what appears if you choose not to create a virtual disk drive. If you're only running the VM for testing purposes, then a virtual disk isn't really necessary, but for other purposes you should have one. We'll continue with the default option to create one. Again, we have three choices here, but we'll stick with the default VDI and keep it on dynamically allocated, so if we need to add more files, the virtual disk will expand accordingly. I'll name it Ubuntu Storage and set it to 10 gig capacity. Click create and you're done. We're nearly there. All you have to do is hit start and locate the ISO file of Ubuntu that you downloaded previously. Select it then boom. It'll start booting up. It might take a while depending on your computer and the allocated RAM. For this example, I'm picking Try Ubuntu, but you can install it and save settings and files like a normal computer. There you have it, a complete tutorial on how to set up a virtual Linux machine in Windows 10. It's not as daunting as it might seem at first, and now you can have multiple VMs running at once if that's your thing. If this video helped, please like and share and consider subscribing for more. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to keep it real.